on the turpentine, uh, we get that from Dr. Tom Cowan, Dr. Thomas Cowan. And it is, if you can think about it like this, the way that maple syrup comes out of a tree, okay? It's the terpenes that come, like the turpentine, it comes out of the tree. So it's a natural gum that comes out of the tree. And the consistency is a little bit oily, uh, but it dissipates pretty quick. I, I started using it on these supposedly precancerous bumps on my forehead because the dermatologist wanted to burn them off and they wanted me to use this chemotherapy type stuff. And I said, no, there's got to be a better way. And um, they, it is all but dissolved them. Also, I had like this bump on my cheek that just wouldn't go away, no matter what I did would not go away. So I started putting it on that and it's going away. Now mm. I'm experimenting with, uh, like you said, some skin tags or some other bumps. You know, my mom who's 81, she's like, I've got these things on my body. You know, everybody that I know is getting these melanomas right now. And I said, well, here, try this, you know, and, and I would say you've got to give it a good, you know, couple of months to let it work. But I think I've seen great success with it. So mm -hmm. if I if if I had a dog and it doesn't burn, doesn't burn, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not I a chemical. Put it on my skin, it doesn't doesn't burn or anything. Yeah. Um, so again, we're not treating the root cause if we're just putting turpentine on a cyst, right? If that's what we decide to recommend or you decide to recommend. But again, you've got to look at what is the terrain. Because as we're learning, the body's always trying to heal itself, even in your pets. And it these things are walling off toxins, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with yeah. that's the assessment of what's happening when a tumor forms or the cyst forms, that they're walling off something to keep it away from the rest of the body? Yeah. And it's a it's a sign of an imbalance. That's why you have to get to, to the foundation and be correcting the terrain and not just focusing on the, on the lump because the cyst or like a lipoma, something like that, they're not necessarily causing the pet any problems, but they're definitely a sign that something's out of balance. People say, Oh, my dog, you know, dog's old. It's getting these lumps. The lumps themselves might not be an issue, but it's still a sign of imbalance. As I said, I think lipomas are the same thing. The body, because toxins oftentimes accumulate in the fat and the body's walling them off 